वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला आई एम अजय चंदेल फ्रॉम मित्तल स्कूल ऑफ बिजनेस लवली प्रोफेशनल यूनिवर्सिटी पंजाब आई एम गोइंग टू प्रजेंट बिफोर यू मॉड्यूल सेवन टाइटल्ड सर्विस करेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ टूरिज्म एंड हॉस्पिटैलिटी मार्केटिंग अंडर द पेपर टूरिज्म एंड हॉस्पिटैलिटी मार्केटिंग आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग दिस मॉड्यूल यू विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड द सर्विस करेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ टूरिज्म and hospitality marketing understand service characteristics unique peculiar to travel and tourism services two introduction the tourism and hospitality industry is a broad category that comes within service industry and includes lodging event planning theme parks transportation cruise lines and additional fields within the tourism industry tourism and hospitality industry is a multi billion dollar industry that depends on the availability of leisure time and disposable income to better market these services it is utmost important to understand the service like characteristics of tourism and hospitality product since tourism marketing is the application of principles and practices of marketing management in the tourism and hospitality industry it is very important to understand unique features of tourism and hospitality products that differentiate them from regular tangible products the goal of marketing in the tourism and hospitality industry is the production and placement of tourism and hospitality products to better suit a broader range of tourism and hospitality customers tourism and hospitality marketing is a complex phenomenon due to its products nature being a combination of many different industries such as accommodation and transportation etc in tourism and hospitality industry markets also vary widely and determining the consumers tastes and preferences could be difficult due to varying customers segments and targets each having a unique set of needs and wants with international tourist visits reaching billions each year in india and future growth expected to increase opportunities in the tourism and hospitality industry are countless yet many tourism and hospitality service firms fail to create a sustainable competitive advantage and hence revenues the major reason as in why are so many tourism and hospitality service firms are struggling in a highly competitive market lies in how well the nature of tourism and hospitality product is understood and appropriate marketing approaches are utilized to promote the same wahab et al in 2004 defined tourism marketing as the management process through which the tourist organizations or tourist enterprises of national and international origin identify and selected their actual or potential tourists communicate with them to a certain and influence their wishes needs motivations likes and dislikes on local regional national and international levels and to formulate and adapt their tourism products accordingly in view of achieving optimal tourist satisfaction thereby fulfilling their objectives which in turn fulfills the enterprise's financial objectives some explain tourism marketing as organized and combined efforts of the national tourist bodies or the businesses in tourism sector of an international national or local area to achieve growth in tourism 
by maximizing the satisfaction of tourists. In doing so, the tourist bodies and businesses expect to receive profits. Trying to be precise, short and sharp in its broadest sense, tourism marketing is the business discipline of attracting visitors to a specific location. Hotels, cities, states, consumer attractions, convention centers, other sites and locations associated with consumer and business travel all apply basic marketing strategies and specific techniques designed to increase visits at a specific destination. 3. Service characteristics of tourism and hospitality A. Intangibility Tourism products are similar to any service product. Tourism products are services and as such they are mostly intangible though with some tangible and concrete elements. This is extremely important for any tourism and hospitality manager to make them tangible in order to apply marketing tools and techniques to the tourism and hospitality services they provide. An obvious consequence of intangibility is that the properties of tourism and hospitality products cannot be transferred, displayed or tested in advance than the actual service encounter. It is their use what can be transmitted. This implies that the purchased product is unique and in contrast to tangible products, tourism products are actually experiences. Besides intangibility implies that buyers are never sure of what they are buying or about what they will get at the end. This is why those who are planning to contract the services of a tourism package will look for information about it in advance in order to reduce uncertainty to the maximum. Tourism and hospitality services are intangible because a comfortable stay in an exotic hotel, a day in a ski resort, the hospitable and safe flight with a courteous attendant and a knowledgeable tour guide taking a tourist to the evergreen forests can all be counted as an experience that cannot be touched. Tourism is all about the time spent, experiences made and memories created. The products and services sold by tourism and hospitality companies both cannot be reproduced or reused at a later stage, nor can the feeling of consumption be captured to its full extent. Tourists can merely attempt to store their memories with photographs and videos, but the real essence of such happy moments is beyond capturing. Tourism is a subjective picture planted into the customer's minds. B. Perishability Perishability is a term used in services marketing to describe the way in which a service product cannot be stored for sale in the future. Service product cannot be stored, saved, returned or resold once it has been rendered. Once delivered to a customer, a service which is completely consumed cannot be delivered to another customer. Thereafter, service products are perishable in two ways. First, the indispensable resources, processes and systems a service are assigned for delivery during a definite period in time and get wasted if not rendered. For example, an aviation company can only sell seats prior to the departure. This service can only be rendered during that defined time period. An empty seat on a plane never can be utilized and charged for after departure. 
Secondly, when the service has been delivered, this particular service vanishes as it has been consumed by the consumer. For example, once a tourist on an airplane has been transported to his destination, he or she cannot be transported again to this location at this point in time. Perishability is one of the most important characteristics of the tourism and hospitality industry. This affects hotel industry in such a way that tourism firms must choose between either selling at the market space or selling in advance. The products or services in the tourism and travel industry are consumed as they are produced, lest they get wasted. Hotel rooms, international and national flights, and cable car seats cannot be produced today and stored for future sales at a later stage. Once the train to a tourism destination has left the station, unused capacity or seats cannot be sold afterwards. As an uncertainty in customer demand leverages this issue, hotels and travel agencies tend to overbook available rooms and seats. Finding an alternative product for the customer and living with the consequences of overbooking is more economical. In fact, overbooking is a result of this limited lifespan an inherent feature of tourism services that one must try to counterbalance to be able to market tourism and hospitality services well. C. Variability Service delivery depends upon people and services are inseparable from people who deliver it. They are produced and offered by individuals, service staff and the customers respectively. As a result, quality of service differs from person to person and from time to time with the same individual and hence this cannot be standardized. Another reason for variability of service is involvement of the guest or customer in the process of service production, delivery and consumption system as this again varies from customer to customer, thereby differentiating the service experience from customer to customer. On similar fashion, products of the tourism industry are variable. Similar cuisine in some restaurant can taste differently due to the mood of the chef. Not only the taste of food but also the way it is being served might vary being delivered by a less experienced service staff than an experienced one. Rational service product attributes like price and additional services can only be compared to a minor degree. It is challenging to deal with the perceived quality as it is highly affected by numerous uninfluenciable aspects such as weather, construction sites, other customers, etc. Therefore, the product is very inconsistent, variable and cannot be standardized. D. Inseparability In tourism, buying and selling of product does not mean buying things like regular products. It is like availing of a service. In the process of buying and selling of tourism product, no actual transfer of ownership is involved as compared to other tangible products. Moreover, most of the tourism and hospitality products are produced, sold and consumed at the same time. This is a characteristic which clearly sets tourism apart from regular tangible products. When one buys a new TV, it is produced and shipped before the customer sees it on the website or at the retailer's premise. 
The consumption of the TV to watch TV shows of one's choice takes place after purchase at customer's home. In contrast, a customer cannot take a hotel room, a skiing site at home. A customer cannot enjoy an adventurous sleep ride in his or her living room. Tourism products can only be consumed at the supplier's premise. E. Participation of customer. Customer acts as one of the integral part of service delivery process. In a service delivery system, selling to production to consumption, the customer is involved almost at every stage. A person who wants to fly from India to Paris for vacationing might ask someone else to book a ticket for on flight and a room in a hotel but the customer must be present on the flight physically otherwise the service for that particular person cannot be produced and hence cannot be consumed f lack of ownership in tourism buying and selling of a product does not mean buying things like regular products it is like availing of a service in the process of buying and selling of the tourism product no actual transfer of ownership is involved as compared to other tangible products lack of ownership may be one of the most commonly quoted characteristic of services like tourism and hospitality it refers to the fact that one cannot own and store a service like one can a product. This characteristic is strongly linked to several other characteristics of services such as intangibility, perishability, inseparability. In addition to these basic characteristics, people-oriented nature of tourism and hospitality industry must be discussed. G. People oriented. The tourism industry thrives entirely upon people. This is the reason people constitute one of the most important piece of the marketing mix of tourism marketing. Most of the times this is the interaction between the service staff and the customer that determines the perceived service quality. Unlike tangible products where the customer buys certain product features, a tourism experience's quality is mainly determined by the personal interactions a customer makes right from getting the information about a tourism product to booking process, to the stay, to the journey, to way back home. 4. Unique characteristics of travel and tourism services. Besides the basic characteristics common to all services, there are some other features that are particularly relevant to travel and tourism services. These are a. Seasonality and demand fluctuations The demand of tourism product depends upon different factors such as season of the year, socio-economic conditions, politics, religion and other special events etc. The seasonal changes greatly affect the demand. Many tourist destinations have a short season. The seasonality creates unemployment, develops idle investments on staff, transport, office rent and increases the cost of production. It is a characteristic of most of the tourism markets that demand fluctuates greatly on interior basis. As a result, the occupancies in many tourism businesses increased to 90 
to 100% in the high season but drops to 30% or less in the low season. Also, seasonal closure of many tourism and hospitality businesses is not very uncommon as well. These demand variations in tourism are an area of major concern because of nature of tourism product being perishable. Thus, generating demand during slump is always the major concern for marketing managers. B. Interdependence of tourism products. The fortunes of tourism attractions in a destination are linked. The tourist might choose attraction at a destination together with the products of accommodation, transport, catering, etc. And hence all organizations should function in coordination. In other words, one may conclude that the tourist product cannot be provided by a single enterprise. Each of the component of a tourism product is highly specialized and all these components must be combined together to make the final product. The tourist product is not an airline or a seat or a visit to a historical site but rather an amalgamation of many components which together constitute complete product. In tourism, each of the components of the tourist product is sold as an individual product. Airline tickets, hotels, resorts have their own sales outlets. Because of these peculiar characteristics, coordinated effort is required in tourism marketing. C. High fixed costs of service operations. In tourism and hospitality industry, generally the operations have higher fixed costs and relatively lower variable costs. This means that entire service operators attention must be focused upon to generate extra demand. Since most large scale tourism and hospitality businesses operate on a very narrow margin between total cost and total revenue due to the intense competition plus or minus one percentage point in average load factors makes the difference between profit and loss. 5. The marketing response to better deal with such complex characteristics. Given to the special characteristics of the travel and tourism services as outlined above, unique marketing approaches are required to be devised and implemented in tourism and hospitality industry. Five unique approaches in hospitality and travel marketing are A. Use of more than four Ps. Since tourism and hospitality products have particular characteristics of inseparability, perishability, seasonality, etc., there is a need to have an extra marketing mix. Most extended marketing mix, most academic literature identifies four P's product, place, promotion, price as the major marketing mix elements. However, there are additional elements in the marketing mix that marketers must take into account in tourism and hospitality industry that are people, processes and physical evidence. Promotion used for tourism and hospitality products have their own particular characteristics. Fascinating visuals, short videos, emotional appeals and word of mouth works best promoting tourism and hospitality products. B. More use of emotional appeals in promotions. Because of the intangible nature of services, customers tend to make purchase decisions on the basis of emotional and experiential factors. Distinctive features of 
a tourism and hospitality product are important to attract customers but creating a distinctive personality to the product through excellent services showcased by integrated marketing communication is far more important. For example, Hilton is usually associated with a personality attributing it as America's business address. C. Greater significance of advertising since there are very few sampling or testing opportunities in tourism and hospitality industry, customers have to rely upon the review and advice of others, including peers, friends, relatives, and business associates. That is why positive word of mouth is very important to succeed for most tourism and hospitality organizations providing a consistent quality of service and associated facilities as promised plays a key role in getting positive word of mouth. It is also the basic fundamental of marketing any product or service. The phenomenon has become even important with the advent of Web 2.0 and emergence of social media and online reviewing websites. People write their positive experiences and share negative as well. D. Increased importance of consistency. Developing and promoting products that not only meet the needs, expectations and interests of existing but also the prospective customers is the fundamental role of the marketers in any industry. Those products and services should not only be designed keeping industry benchmarks in mind but must be delivered consistently as well. Consistency means delivering similar or higher levels of services one after the other each time to ensure that customers live with a consistent impression of an organization's standards which is essentially important in multinational organizations facing global competition because customers tend to make decisions about the entire company based on their experiences it is of utmost importance to be consistent in performance for firms in tourism and hospitality industry. E. Increased importance of relationships with complementary organizations. Organizations in tourism and hospitality industry have several unique relationships with each other that have a significant impact on how hospitality services are marketed. Creating and sustaining these relationships is an additional responsibility that hospitality marketers must play. Key factors operating outside the organization's physical boundaries such as suppliers of facilities, attractions and events, ground transportation and other support services in or between travel destinations and in addition visitors and residents all these have a direct impact on the customer's satisfaction. That is why tourism organizations must ensure that those organizations provide their products consistently and try managing successful relationships amongst complementary organizations as well. 6. Summary As discussed in the chapter, tourism and hospitality is a part of much broader services industry. The products of tourism and hospitality industry have characteristics of typical services. Just like services products of tourism and hospitality industry are highly perishable and time element has a great influence, has a great significance in their marketing. Unlike regular product, 
service cannot be touched or sensed or tested or felt before they're availed. A tourism and hospitality product works in similar fashion and is an abstract phenomenon. Tourism and hospitality products are inseparable, sometimes call for simultaneous creation and consumption. The features of service by a provider cannot be uniform or standardized. Since services are provided by people, service delivery suffers from heterogeneity and hence are variable. Unlike in regular products, customer acts as one of the integral part of service delivery process. In tourism, buying and selling of a product does not mean having things like regular products. It doesn't involve actual transfer of ownership. These attributes must be kept in mind while defining the nature of tourism and hospitality industry and devising strategies for effective marketing. Thank you.